Hi everyone, today is Thursday, June 13th, and I am working on a tester sweater pattern from Lady J Crochet. You can find her on Instagram, I believe, and on Ravelry as well. Um, today it's finally cool enough for me to be able to work on this pattern during the day. Um, right now my apartment has it at 77 degrees. I do have the window open so if you do hear some gardening in the background, I apologize. But um, yeah, I'm excited to actually be working on something today. The pattern that I'm working on is called True Love Turtleneck Sweater. And it works from the bottom up. So, so far, I started this pattern on Tuesday, so I'm, this is the ribbing at the bottom. This is where I started, so I finished the ribbing on Tuesday, so this is my start, starting point for Wednesday, and this is where I finished last night, so I did all of this last night. That's a total of, give me one second. Three, one, two, three, four, five. Sixteen rows from here, from this marker to this one. And actually, I wanted to show you guys something. Uh, let me put this down real quick. I am new to knitting. And in case you guys are wondering, I got this bag at Michael's. And I like it because it has one sec, one hole right here for to be able to feed your yarn and it also has it on the opposite section so you can have two projects running but what I wanted to show you guys was this I got these at Joann's and they're from the brand Boy and what I liked is they have this little um, keychain like key ring where you could just put the ring on it and hang, like either put it on your project bag or just leave it like this but what I really liked was they come with 25 of these stitch markers. And let me see if I can get one out. They're a bit tangled. Just need one. So what I like about them is they're all the same size. I'm glad that they come in different colors, but if you see here, they're little snap-ons. So it has the little snap right there. So you just put it through the yarn and then snap it like that which I thought was really cool because in my area and then you just unsnap it when you're done and they're very flexible so they can go through um, big like super bulky yarn if you have it um, mine the yarn that I'm working on is a number five so it's just bulky but I'm glad that they have it in yellow blue like this bluish teal color and this purple because then you can pick what color matches or it will be easier to see when you have it on your project it original price for this was I think $4.99 but the good thing is you can always find coupons online and they usually have 40% off or 50% off mm -hmm. I happen to have a 40% um, mm -hmm. off oops sorry about that have some uh, notifications coming through. Mm. But anyway, I happen to have a 40% off coupon. So I only paid $2.93 for this, which is not bad because it comes with the case and 25 of those stitch markers. So I really enjoyed them because I can see the blue and I can see it here. I did want to use the yellow, but the yellow was a little bit hard to see at night. So that's why I chose the blue. But yeah, if you're looking for inexpensive, inexpensive stitch markers, um, check out your local Joann's. Maybe Michaels might have them. I haven't checked. Um, and I do have the stitch markers that are the rings that just stay looped around the needle. But I didn't need that because I wanted to keep these as progress trackers. Or, pro uh, yeah, progress trackers on my sweater that I'm working on so I know how far I am and all that kind of stuff so I'm really excited to be using those and I wanted to share that with you guys 
I hope you guys are having a great week so far. Only one more day until the end of the week. I think it's focusing more on the background than it is up here. There we go. I did get my nails done today. I got this color done. It's called Olive Garden. <laughs> it's just a nice green color. Um, the reason why I got my nails done is because I am celebrating my wedding anniversary tomorrow. And I felt like treating myself a little bit. So actually, my mom um, treated me to getting my nails done. So thank you, mom. I appreciate it. I haven't had my nails done in so long. I think the last time I got them done was about two years ago. And I don't get them done that often, mainly because my natural nails grow pretty long. So I just leave them the way that they are like that. So. I am excited to have them. My sister was making fun of me. She said, well, how are you going to do stuff around the house now with your nails like that? And I told her, well, my nails naturally grow out to be this length anyway, so I'm not too concerned about it. And she's like, can you knit with that? I'm like, sure. They're just, I guess it just depends on if you have short nails and then you go straight to long nails without like um, slowly transitioning to the length. It might be difficult. But because my nails are always long anyway, I don't have an issue. So she has short nails right now, but she usually gets the acrylics done on herself as well. A little bit shorter since she does work with patients, so she doesn't want to scratch them or anything. But I've always had long nails, so I've never had an issue. It is going to be, um, so I won't be filming on Saturday because I won't, um, I'll be celebrating my anniversary that day. So I will not be filming, but there will be a video up. Um, it'll just be a pre-recorded video. And I think, um, the next couple of videos I'm going to be filming will be on this project be like a knit along with me let me know what you guys think about these so far um i really like the style of filming where i'm just chatting with you guys working on a project um i feel like that's more like communal for me and i feel like a lot of people don't don't may, may not have the time to just sit there and watch like a haul video or anything and they just want to have something playing on the background while they're working on a project as well so that's why um i like this style better come on folks there we go i might have to put something else on the background next time again i do apologize for the noise but i won't be able to film later on today because i have some stuff i have to do and there's a cool breeze right now so i figure i'll do this now This piece so far um, has been about a ball, a skin, and a, a skin and a quarter worth of yarn already, which is pretty amazing to me. I'm liking how it's coming along so far. This is the first time I'm ever knitting a sweater as well. So I think I'm doing a good job so far. I do have to watch some tutorials on I think it's called slip stitching or when you knit at it at the angle or something like that um i was reading the pattern i didn't know what that meant so i do have to find some video tutorials on how to do that so i can continue working on this piece um but yeah this piece should be done no later than the 26th i believe i have to double check my calendar on when this needs to be done by. I am posting progress photos on Instagram as well, so you guys can check that out. And my Instagram is Modern Stitches Co. 
just find me there and see how everything's coming along. And you can also do the hashtag, um, search the hashtag Lady J Crochet or True Love Turtleneck Sweater, and you can see what other people chose for their colorways and see how their progress is coming along. So, yeah, go ahead and check that out. Let me know what you think um, on the progress so far of other people. But yeah, excited. I'm still binge watching the rest of Nitty Natty's videos on YouTube. Um, I really like her aesthetic of how she films. Uh, I'm not comfortable yet showing my face on the internet, but I mean, I don't mind just filming like this. Maybe down the line I'll get a little bit more confidence in doing that, but for now I think I'm, I'm still getting the hang of filming this way. But eventually I'll get to that point. There's no rush. I'm really liking this yarn. It's nice and thick. It's squishy, like very soft. It's by the brand, I think I mentioned this in my last video, uh, Loops and Threads. It's a Michaels brand, and I think it's their brand specifically. Um, and it's the Charisma. Yeah, Charisma. So I think that's like a sub brand because they do have other Loops and Thread. Um, they have a whole collection of loops and threads, but I think they have subcategories, so I think Charisma is one of those. Come on, focus up here. There we go. Yeah, I think I might have to lay a different, something different in the background so it doesn't want to focus up there instead of up here. Look at how it's coming out so far. Very nice. Not bad. I really am enjoying this. So I am going to finish off this round with you guys. So we have a little bit more to go. Which is not bad. Is everybody out for summer break? Any students out there already on vacation? Parents, the students, your kids are already out for break. Are you guys going anywhere, traveling, going on vacations? We might do a little local vacations, like uh, probably go to the beach, maybe Monterey, San Francisco areas. They're not too far from where we're at. They're about, mm, San Francisco's about two hours away, and Monterey's about the same, so they're not too far. They could be day trips. There's also Santa Cruz. It's the beauty of California. There's different sections that you can go to for staycations. You don't really have to go that far. I told my husband that I had gone to Michael's to purchase this yarn, this color, and that they had this gorgeous, like, I would say, uh, emerald green, like a jewel tone green color. It was so nice. But they only had six skeins of yarn, so it wasn't enough for the sweater. So I did tell him that they also had that deep purple that I'm using, um, oops, I'm going to use on this sweater for my uh, wrist cuffs. And I told them, well, if they still have the blue, the green and the purple, which a total would be 12 skeins of yarn, six of each. If they still have it by the time, by Monday, 
then I will buy them because they were two dollars a yarn a uh, skein, and I think that's a really good price. And I would do some type of like color blocking for a sweater that I can wear in the winter time. So, if they do have it still on Monday, I will do a yarn haul on that. If they don't, then they don't. But either way, um, right now, anyway, Michaels does have the uh, certain types of loops and threads for $2 a skein. So go check out your local Michaels for that. And we're almost, we're almost there. So I'm right here. Right there. Not too bad. Do any of you guys other uh do any of you guys have this issue too where if you guys live in an apartment complex or anything like that or near one? Do you guys feel like the gardeners are there like more frequently than they need to be? They were here on Monday, and then they were here again yesterday, and now they're here again today. I, I don't understand why they're here so frequently. Um, there's not that much grass in the areas or in our complex at all, so I don't understand why the leaf blower guy is here. I mean, the trees are green. It's not fall, so there's no trees on the floor. Uh, I mean, no leaves, no leaves on the floor, not the trees. Um, so I don't understand why they're always here. It just amazes me. And then also the garbage men. They're here like twice a week and I don't understand. And it's in the same spot. And it's not like one's a garbage and one's recycled. They both come on the same days, but they're here like twice a week. And the garbage cans don't get filled up that often. So I don't, I don't know if that's just like a apartment thing or what it is, but it's crazy. They're here so much. Don't understand. Do you guys have that issue too? If you guys live in an apartment, do you guys get the garbage man and the gardeners more frequently than you, than you think? <laughs> or that you expect? It's really weird. And they're here like almost the entire day, which was, which it does amazing. Like they're here from like eight o'clock in the morning, sometimes even earlier, all the way until about five o'clock in the afternoon. I don't understand why they're here all day. Who knows? Well, coming up to this one. Almost there towards the end. Oh, yep, see? Right there. Right here. Not bad. Well, thank you guys for spending some time with me today. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys are staying cool and hydrated wherever you guys are at. It is going to be getting warmer and warmer, unfortunately. Can't control the heat. Summer is upon us. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If you guys have any questions, please leave them below. Thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Modern Stitches Co. To see all my progress there on not only this sweater, but also on any other projects that I might be working on, like my cross stitch projects. Hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks.